Hi friends, today we see debated connections. There are three types of connection used in engineering works that are debated connection, bolted connection and welded connections. From these three types, there are two permanent types of connection that are Riveted connections and welded connections. Riveted connection and welded connections are used in different types of engineering works like joining of different plates in uh, boilers like that. <coughs> Introduction. What is mean by rivet? A rivet is a short cylindrical bar with head integral to it. The cylindrical portion of the rivet is called shank or body and lower portion of shank is known as tail of the rivet. The rivets are used to make permanent fastening between the plates such as in structural work, shipbuilding, bridges, tanks and shells. The riveted connections or joints are widely used for joining light metals. It is a permanent type of connection. According to Indian standard specification, rivet Heads are of various types. Rivets heads for general purposes are specified by IS 2155 1982 and IS 1929 1982. From diameter of the, uh, 12 mm to 48 mm, rivet heads used for boiler was are specified by IS 1928-1978 to get dimensions of the head of different rivet. We use the handbook provided by the Indian standard. Types of riveted joint. There are two main riveted joints first one is lap joint and second one is butt joint first we see lap joint the plates that are to be joined are brought face to face such that an overlap exists as shown in figure rivets are inserted on the overlapping portion Single all or multiple rows of rivets are used to give strength of the joint. Depending upon the number of rows, the riveted joints may be classified as single riveted lap joint, double or triple riveted lap joint. When multiple joints are used, the arrangement of rivets between two neighboring rows may be of two kinds in chain riveting the adjustment adjacent row have rivets in the same transverse line in zigzag riveting on the other hand the adjacent rows of rivet rivets are staggered next type is bird joint of rivet connections. In this type of joint, the plates are brought to each other without forming any overlap. Riveted joints are formed between each of the plate and one or two cover plates. Depending upon the number of cover plates, the bird joints may be single strap or double strap bird joints. A single strap bird joint is 
as in uh, shown in figure like lap joints the arrangement of the rivet may be of various kinds namely single row double row or triple chain or zigzag manner the strength of riveted joint is measured by its efficiency the efficiency of joint is defined as the ratio between the strength of riveted joint to the strength of an unriveted joints or a solid plate obviously the efficiency of the riveted joint not only depend upon the size and the strength of the individual rivets but also on the overall arrangement and the type of joint now see the important terms using riveted joint first term is pitch this is the distance between two centers of consecutive rivets in a single row it is denoted by small p next term is back pitch this is the shortest distance between two successive rows in a multiple riveted joint denoted by pb next term is diagonal pitch this is the distance between the center of rivets in adjacent rows of zigzag riveted joints and denoted by pd and last term is margin or marginal pitch this is the distance between the center of the rivet hole to the nearest edge of the plate and it is denoted by small m now see the failure of riveted joint uh, the riveted joints are fail in uh, four main cases uh, first case is tearing of plate at the section weakened by holes the plate at any other section is obviously stronger and hence does not fail if tensile force p is to cause tearing it will occur occur along weakest section which carries the rows of rivets if only one pitch length p is considered it is weakened by one hole diameter d the area that resists the tensile force is 80 is equal to in bracket p minus d into t where t is thickness of plate if the permissible stress for the plate in tension is sigma s then tensile strength of the joint or tensile load carrying capacity of joint is given by pt is equal to sigma t in bracket p minus d into t and if p is the applied tensile force per pitch length then the joint will not fail if pt is greater than or equal to applied tensile force that is p next case of failure of riveted joint is shearing of rivet the failure will occur when all the rivets in a row shear off simultaneously the considers the strength provided by the rivet against this mode of failure one consider number of rivets in a pitch length which is obviously one further in a lap joint failure due to shear may occur only along one section of rivet as shown in figure however in case of double cover but joint failure may take place along two sections in the manner shown in figure 
सो इन केस ऑफ सिंगल शेयर द एरिया रजिस्टिंग शेयरिंग ऑफ अ रिवेट ए एस इज इक्वल टू पाए बाय फोर डी स्क्वेर नेक्स्ट वन इज ई परमिशिबल शेयरिंग स्ट्रेस इन सिंगल शेयर ऑफ रिवेट इज टव इयर्स देन द शेयरिंग स्ट्रेंथ और शेयरिंग लोड कैरिंग कैपेसिटी ऑफ द जॉइंट इज गिवन बाय पी एस इज इक्वल टू टव इयर्स इन टू पाए बाय फोर इन टू डी स्क्वेर नेक्स्ट वन इज द फेल्युअर विल नॉट अकर इफ पी एस इज ग्रेटर देन और इक्वल टू पी दैट इज टेन्साइल फोर्स अप्लाइड वी मे ऑल्सो राइट इफ एन इज द नंबर ऑफ रिवेट्स पर पीच लेन पी एस इज इक्वल टू एन टव एस इन टू पाए बाय फोर इन टू डी स्क्वेर नेक्स्ट केस ऑफ फेल्युअर इज क्रशिंग ऑफ प्लेट एंड रिवेट्स ड्यू टू रिवेट being compressed against the inner surface of the hole of the hole there is a possibility that either the rivet or the hole surface may be crushed the area which resists this action is the projected area of the hole or rivet on diameter plane the area per rivet is given by ac is equal to d into t and the failure of riveted joint is as shown in figure e permissible crushing or bearing stress of rivet or plate is sigma c the crushing strength of the joint or load carrying capacity of the joint against crushing is equal to pc is equal to d into t into sigma c the failure not occur if pc is greater than p where p is applied load per pitch length and there is one rivet per pitch if number of rivet is in a pitch length then right hand side is multiply uh, by the number of rivets last type of failure is sharing of plate margins near the rivet hole in the figure uh, the this mode of failure in which margin can share along planes ab and cd if the length of margin is m the area resisting this failure is ams is equal to 2 into m t if permissible sharing stress of plate is tau s yes, then load carrying capacity of the joint against sharing of the margin is pms is equal to 2 mt tvs and the failure will not occur if pms is greater than or equal to p where p is the applied load per pitch length thank you